Hi guys, my name is Mera and in this video I will show you how I got 7 platinum trophies in 7 days. The challenge itself is very easy nowadays because there is a lot of easy shovelware that you can complete in under 2 minutes. But I will not play anything like that because I don't want to have other sheets on my trophy list. I will start every game from 0% except one that you will see later. I will try to platinum in all platform except PlayStation Vita because I can't record that for now. I hope I can buy a PlayStation TV in January so I can make a full challenge with all the platform. So let's begin, shall we? The first game I want to get the Platinum Trophy is Toy Story 3, a 20 hours Platinum where I got half of the trophies already for completing the story mode. So I only need to complete the Buddhist Roundup by collecting every collectible and complete all the important side mission. One thing to say about this Platinum is very easy, it took me about 22 hours but there is a buggy trophy. If you didn't get every single Pictomatic, the trophy will not pop. If you miss the Pictomatic that, uh, that is on the hotel roof, I think, something like that, you will not get this trophy. It's a very common bug, but don't worry, the only thing you need to do is to restart the entire with this round up. So another 12 hours to 15 hours uh, to the drain. I'm glad I was lucky enough that I did get the trophy. Now we'll show you all the trophies I did get in the game with some uh, gameplay. The second game is The Artful Escape, a 3 hours platinum infuse our guide, obviously. This was a great surprise because I didn't expect it to be this good and charming. The music is perfect and the color palette makes me very happy and relaxed, something that I didn't experience in a while. So as always, now there is a, lot, a little bit of gameplay with some trophies. Enjoy! come from after party for your show Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license the skiffo band is playing I'll give him a chance plug into the amp on stage I'll patch you in is this of course not honey how was your was everyone excited to see you before the show Um, greedy. What is good evening? This is the musical. It's a 
golden now to you The third game is Enigmatis the Ghost of Maple Creek, a 3 hour platform if you use a guide properly. I usually play a lot of point and click game on my PC, because it relaxes me a lot, but this game was a little bit harder than usual, even with a guide. It took me 7 hours in total despite the 3 hours uh, guide, because uh, I didn't use it properly. I will show you some gameplay and the final trophies, because uh, some of the trophies were really hard to, to get and I didn't record everything, so because 7 hours of clip uh, are a lot. So enjoy some gameplay uh, and the final shot. There will be no more murders here. The fourth game is Kona, a 3 to 6 hours platinum and infuse a guide. I actually did it in 7 because my side corrupted after 45 minutes, but hey, in the end I got the plot, so I will not complain. The story is quite good, but the gameplay is skunky and sometimes it stutters even on PS5. Enjoy the clip. What a mess! Clearly, there was some major revamping work underway here. The place looked barely habitable. A bit of gas, a new spark plug, and a key. And this thing would run perfect. Carl would have to figure out how to reach it. The 
one responsible had already been killed, and so the beast could not quench its thirst for vengeance. And now, recklessly, Carl had pulled the bolt from the beast's heart. A beast who was but a young free man lost without his fiancée, and who had, out of hatred, become Wendigo. Lost World Behind the Page, another four-hour Splatoon if you use a guide. The game made me cry a little, the story was very good and dark. Enjoy the clip. Go to the beach, and look up at the stars. But one night, we looked down instead. The stars were shining in the water. It was like the sky got flipped upside down. We took off our shoes and socks and waded into the water. As we walked over the pebbles, glowed beneath our toes. Grand said it was called bioluminescence. Tiny plankton in the water. Storm. And snow. Defiant. Unwavering. One step after the other. That's bold. That's where I last saw. Lump! Who then? How is not. But we'll always be there in the memory. I'll make sure to keep you there. Goodbye, little mum. Dad said I needed to eat. I said, if Gran wasn't going to eat, neither would I. He sent me to my room. The second to last game is The Gardens Between, a 2 hours platinum if you use a guide. I completed in under 2 hours but only totally because I was tired so I tried to be fast enough. 
The game is long one hour and our trophies are very easy to get, nothing is missable thanks to chapter select. So enjoy the game. <laughs> The last game is Goosebumps the game, it's a horrible point and click but it's enough to complete in under 3 hours, I didn't like it at all, because Enigmatis was better and all the artifacts Mundi games are better than this point and click, but hey it was free for PS Plus member and it is enough and I need to <laughs> complete this challenge <laughs> fast so it was good, nothing special, enjoy the click and the final Trudium Trophies.
affair stats was 46 hours of gameplay in under a week. Not too shabby. The next game in the list is Persona 4 Golden, but I will not record this game because it's on PS Vita. Maybe I will record the last trophy if uh, I want with my telephone or camera, but for now I will not record any gameplay of it because I can't. <laughs> Nothing uh, special, I can't. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video, if so subscribe to my channel, like this video or dislike if you didn't like it and comment below anything. <laughs> Bye!